Do you have a list of all animals getting in the ark? I think that's everyone according to this scroll as I'm looking at it. We have giraffes, elephants, lions, frogs, toucans, rabbits. And the spider boxes, too. You know what? Let's just assume that I'll take care of all the creepy, crawly, slimy creatures from God's green earth. All right then. What next then? And what for? I don't know if you heard, but a great flood is coming. If you don't want to get caught out in the storm, you're going to need to come inside, quick. That's better. Now if everyone would just take a seat, I'll tell all of you the story behind this ark. As the children are moving to sit. Watch your step. Not all of our animals are potty trained. Watch your heads. Some of our animal friends might drop in for a visit. Great job, everyone. You guys did almost as good. A job getting on the ark is the chimpanzees. What's that, my dear? I'm just going to talk to a few new friends and tell them what we're all doing here on this ark. No, they aren't creepy, crawly, slimy friends. Yes, I will clean up after them. Don't worry. Oh yes, the story of why we are on this ark. Well, I guess this story starts when I was about 550 years old. I know what you're thinking. I don't look a day over 483. So, one day, when I was 550 years old, God said to me, I have decided that all living creatures must die, for the earth is filled with violence. Because of them. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it with pitch, inside and out. Does anyone know what pitch is? Pitch is a tar. It was used in boat making to make sure the boat didn't leak. And God definitely did not want the ark to leak. In fact, God had very specific directions on how he wanted me to make this ark. He said, the ark is to be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. That's as long as one and a half football fields, and is four stories high. But we needed an ark that big, because God told me that he was going to bring a great flood that would spread over the entire earth and kill every living thing. He would allow me, my wife, our children, and their wives to live on the ark, so long as we brought along two of every kind of living creature along with us. One male and one female of each species. So that means two cows, two baboons, two zebras, two goats, and two, cups his hand to his ear and pauses, as if listening to his wife. Yes, I did let the electric eels on the ark. Apparently, you don't know how to clean an electric eel tank. Now, back to the ark. I also needed to make sure we had enough food for everyone. Do you know how much food that is? Let's just say, it was a lot. Needless to say. I didn't completely understand God's plan, but I did what he told me to. It took me 50 years to build this ark, and get all the food we would need for our journey. 50 years. What's the longest it's taken you to work? On a project or complete a chore? calls on children as they raise their hands to give responses. Wow, that is a long time. If it took me 50 years to build the ark, does anyone know how old I am now? Yes, 600 years. Yes, that's right. I'm 600 years old now. I know what you're thinking. I don't look a day over 526. And it may have taken me a long time to build the ark but I finally got it done seven days ago. That's when God spoke to me again. He told me that it was time for me to board the ark with my family and all these animals. He was ready to bring the flood. I still didn't understand God's plan or why he felt like he needed to flood the entire earth. But I obeyed. And here we all are. Looks out the window. Sounds of a storm are heard. It sounds like the storm's really picking up. Can you feel it? Yes. Hold on to something as we all sway along with the storm. Sways back and forth as the sound of the storm rages on. God told you that he is going to make it rain for 40 days and 40 nights. True. Do you guys want to hang out here with me for the next 40 days and 40 nights? No. Why not? Is it because of the creepy, crawly slimy animals? Or the fact that they aren't potty trained? That's all right. I'm sure God won't mind if we put this storm on fast forward. Here we go. Starts to sway faster as the sound of the storm grows louder.
then the storm suddenly stops. And Noah stops swaying. We did it. 40 whole days and nights. I can't imagine when the storm was over. The storm is over. Look at the beautiful sun shining down on us. What is that? I think it's coming from over here. It's a dove. And it is an olive branch in its beak. Do you know what that means? Dry land is near. You know, I may not have understood God's plan, but I trusted in him and God was there with me. Even if you don't always understand the plan God has for you, put your trust in him and he will guide you through it. Let's pray to God and thank him for keeping us safe. Dear God, sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we don't know what to do, but we know you are always there, watching over us and helping to guide us to do the right thing. Thank you for always being there, even when we don't understand. We promise to do our best, to open our hearts and our minds so that we might hear you better and to follow your plan to the best of our abilities. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us at Delivernus Church Kira. God bless you.